Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we're going to show you how to build a CSS grid layout for your Divi modules in this today. What you're actually looking at there is only one row with one column in it and we've created this grid using a bit of CSS and it's fully responsive if I toggle my Google Chrome inspector tools here. As you can see there it is as we shrink down it's going to keep its sizing until we get to tablet view and it's going to pop into columns and on mobile view it's going to pop into single columns like that. Really easy to do, we've got to use a bit of CSS for this today. Don't let that put you off, any CSS I'll write I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it. If you enjoy this video today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It lets me know whether to make more videos on a certain topic or not. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to enable my Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down and I'm simply going to trash what we've got going on here. There we go. So we're left, left with a section. So I'm going to add a new row. I'm going to put a single column in there. And for ease today, I'm going to use the same module for everything. I'll just put a little call to action in there. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate that four times or three times. So we've got four of them. Simply going to hit the little duplicate button right there. And we'll change the background color so we can discern between them. Okay, they're pretty obviously different there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my row full width and I'm going to get rid of this guttering. The guttering is the space between and around the actual modules there. So let's go into the row. I'm going to go to design, sizing, use custom gutter width. If I take that down to one, there we are, they're buddied up against each other there. Let's go down a little bit. We'll make it full width by taking the width to 100%. I'm going to copy the 100% and paste it in the max width below, or you can just type it in if you prefer. There we go. We've got four little modules that are full width touching each other. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a bit of text away from each of these. So they've got different amounts of text in them. Because if you're building with modules, it's usually you haven't got the same amount of text in each one. And we'll leave that one as is. Great. So we've got different amounts of text there. OK, well, let's write a bit of CSS and we've actually got to do this in the column itself. So if we go into the row and into the column itself right here to the advanced tab, go to custom CSS in the main element, we can start writing our CSS and we're using the grid system, the CSS display grid system for this. So we're going to say display grid. You can copy this in real time if you want to but I'm going to put it below the video and you're welcome to use it how you wish. So we want it to be a grid and uh, we want it, the template, the grid template of the columns, so grid template of the columns. We want them to be a quarter of the screen so there's four of them that stretch, stretch across. So let's give it 25% 
I'll just copy that four times. As you can see, it's put them in one quarter right there already. But we need it to make four, so I'm going to copy it. Two, three. There we go. And now we've got them stretched out along the top of our display there. And we want it to auto generate the rows. So put a semicolon for the next line of code. So I'm going to say grid auto rows. And we want to tell that to be auto semicolon. So when we create new rows, it'll automatically put them below. So let's save this and let's duplicate some of our modules here. And yeah, let's duplicate this one. And they're just placing them beside them at the moment. Of course, you can move them to wherever you wish. So we'll switch them around in a second. Just hit the duplicate button. There we go, that's great, but if we look at it on a mobile and a tablet now, that's probably going to be a little bit too small. See, it's squashing all up, that's on a tablet and on a mobile, and that's really not what we want. So we need to adjust the CSS to work properly on these responsive devices. So let's go back into our column. back to the custom CSS and if we hover over where it says main element common to most Divi modules here we'll find a little mobile device or something that looks like a mobile phone we can change this if I copy all everything that we've got there it'll inherit it from the one that's larger than it so I'm going to go into tablet I'm going to paste this in here and I'm going to change it to 250s instead of 425 so it'll be two columns. So we say 50% and 50%. There we go. If I move this out of the way, that looks better for tablet. Then if we do the same thing for mobile, that almost works. But if you've got a lot of content, you probably want to split that up into singles. So we'll do the same again. I'll paste the code in there again. And instead of 425%, I'm going to do one 100%. There we go. That looks a lot better. So there's mobile, tablet, and back to our desktop. And you may be saying, well, we could do this with a normal sort of setup with a row with four columns. Yeah, you could. But this is something you can't do, which is the next step. Let's say what we've got here. Okay, what we can do with this CSS, we can move any module anywhere we want within this grid. For instance, if we want to move this blue module down here and have it stretch two columns here, we can say move to grid column two. There's again the rights one, two, three, four, five, and the row, grid rows one, two, three. So if we were say move this to 2, 4, so it will be between 2 and 4 over here, and row rise will do it 2 and 3, it will be down here. Let's do that and see what happens. So we're going into this blue one here, I'm going to go to advanced, custom CSS again, in the main element, we'll say grid, column, and where do we want it? We want it from 2, number 2 to number 4, the colon two to four and that's push it over right here two to four but it's still on the top row right there we want it on the second row down here so let's put a semicolon and drop down one more and we'll say grid row we want it from two to three so we'll say two dash three there we go, and that's popped it down, as you can see, in the middle and made it twice as long. And it's still the same depth there, which is great. 
Now, if we wanted to make this twice as long, this one right here, we could do a very similar thing. You can go in there, go to the custom code, advanced, custom CSS, in the main element. And we could say, well, we still want you from one to two in the columns, but row wise, we want you to stretch two to four. So we've got one, two, three, four. So it will be double the height. So we'll say that grid column again, one to two. So we only want it to take out that single column and then grid row. We want to take it two spaces. So we're going to say two to four. two to four and as you can see that's now two spaces long let's push that one over there now we could do a similar thing for the one on the right so I'm just going to copy that let's put the semicolon in we'll go in here custom CSS main element now I've got to change the numbers on this the grid row is correct, but I want this to be four and five. Four and five. There we go. Now we've got a long one on that side as well. Now if we wanted to round it up, we could make this one too deep also. Or we could just add another module here. So let's make this one too deep as well or too wide I should say we'll just copy the code that we had in this one and adjust the actual row that it's in so we're going to copy this and we'll paste it in this one here and just change the row We now want it to be three and four here. There we go. And let's change the background color as well to break that up. There we go. Now these ones that we've actually changed here, that one, these two and this one, when it's on a mobile device, we want it to go back to its sort of grid type shape. I mean, this, this will work pretty well, but let's have a look at it on tablet. Those columns are a little offset there on the tablet because it's only taking up half the space. So to get around this, we're going to use the same piece of code on all of them. So let's go back to desktop. We'll start on this one and work our way through. And we only have to do it for the tablet because the mobile phone will inherit it from the tablet. So we're going to the tablet. So we're going to say the same thing, grid column, auto, semicolon, and grid row, auto. There we go. Now we'll copy these. And we'll go in and paste them in this one. Like I say, just in the tablet. There we go. And this one, again, just in the tablet. We'll go into this last one. And again, in the tablet. And there we have it. We've got our nice little grid here. Save our changes. And exit the visual builder. Now if I put responsive mode on with my Google inspector here, my Chrome inspector here, if we drag it in, we've got a little column structure we want there, it's fully responsive. When we get down to tablet size, let's 
going to break into doubles and when we get down to mobile size it's going to break into singles. So that's a great and interesting way of aligning your modules using the CSS grid system. Like I say I'll put the code down below you're welcome to use it how you wish play around use different modules and you can come up with some fantastic effects. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.